Yeah, guys, just doing a price update and information about Metro Bank. I haven't done a video in a while about Metro Bank, so we're going to look at the uh, Metro Bank price chart. The ticker is MTRO. Mike, Tango, Romeo, Oscar. Let's look at the price. Uh, price action and the price chart guys of metro bank nothing i say is financial advice just my opinion um <clears throat> so let's look at the uh price this is the one week chart guys one week chart you see the crash you see the price how uh, high it was it's just um See what's going on. As you can see, Metro Bank, this is a one week chart showing that Metro Bank dropped to around 28 pence. It's back in March. You could have loaded up for 28 pence and go back on my videos, guys, because I gave it. I told you about Metro Bank. Although not financial advice, I told you it's. Uh, it's likely to recover in a big way. Anyway, I'm going to tell you my price prediction towards the end of this video. I'm going to tell you my price prediction for Metro Bank. But you could have loaded up at 28 pence, guys. Just, just, you know, just to tell you, like, I don't know, maybe you did or whatever, but, 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 but anyway. See, it's gone from 28 pence, the lowest point, and it started to rise there diagonal. It reached 35 pence, peaked up to 41, came down again to 35, back up to around 39, then took off. Took off, guys, and um, we're going to just change the chart here to the one day chart for Metro Bank and my average actually to be honest I should have had a lower average but I think I did have a lower average but I sold some unfortunately I think without checking into the um this platform's accounts I think I did sell some which uh I don't know shouldn't have shouldn't have sold maybe but anyway i still hold quite a bit and um yeah so my average was lower i'm not going to say 28 pence but i may have bought some at 28 pence but certainly my average was probably 35 before the you know shares are sold i'm currently sitting on a 45 average but you can see in this day chart that just a few days back, the stock, the share price of Metro Bank actually was 70, um, 96 pence. And it's climbing higher, higher, you can see. So I don't know if any of you actually, because I know, I know like probably Metro Bank doesn't get a lot of views, but it was. A sleeping giant per se a sleeping recovery giant in the making obviously like you know people would have lost money holders you know that bought in 40 pounds over 40 pounds and going down you know 30 pounds 20 pounds 10 pounds etc etc but it is what it is that happens sometimes to stocks you know share prices or whatever different reasons and not going into all the reasons with Metro Bank, you probably know. <clears throat> but anyway, there's a new chief financial officer. Um, Metro Bank sold its mortgage book off. And paid a few fines, blah, blah, blah. Things are looking up anyway, let's put it that way. Things are looking up. It's about time 
you could say it's about time because stock has been down like let's say last time it was at its level for example last time it was at its level i'm just looking back at the chart i could squeeze the chart so you could see it's actually where it started really falling at this level was back in September 2023. So basically just over a year ago, it was at this level. So it's been down, you know, for a whole year. And that's the opportunity to buy. And then go to take it back to the one week chart again. I'm just going to show you that Metro Bank really started falling. Like, I mean, obviously it fell from right up here, but the last time it was, you know, you know, just say almost two dollar, uh, two pounds. <laughs> Sorry, it was twenty twenty February twenty twenty, and obviously then it fell, fell, fell lower, you know, um, because it obviously after that in March twenty twenty the COVID stock market crash hit. So otherwise it may, may have stayed around two, two pounds, but it dropped lower. But in any case, is what it is, it dropped lower. And that was, you know, 2020, 21, 22, 23, we're nearly at the end of 24. That's like almost five years, guys, it's been down under certainly under two 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 pounds because at one point last year when they were talking about possible takeover it went to 150 but it hasn't been nowhere near really two two pounds apart from that 150 so there it is guys it's been down for five years i mean obviously it crashed further when it was right up here I mean all this trouble started right up here I mean even if you took it from here where this chart goes from like if you took if you take it when the stock was like 15 16 pounds that was actually in January uh, 2019 but going right up it's that's that's really where it crashed from August 2018 so if you take it from there you're talking like six years it's been down just almost six years so it's quite a long time quite a long time six years for stock you know to be down that low anyway so as i say you had a chance i gave it i told you about it there's quite a few videos on it if you go and check it's all documented, all video documented. You could have had it for 28 at the lowest. Or really, you should have got in at 40, 45. It's still not too late to buy because what I'm looking at... Let's just go back to the day chart. What I'm looking at for Metro Bank, my price prediction for Metro Bank, guys... And probably you might get a better sense of it if I go back to the one week chart. What I'm looking at is based on the shares in issue currently, based on what the amount of shares that was there previously. Well, I, I, I'm, what I'm looking at is basically ten pounds. I'm looking at a ten pound share price sometime in the future, moving forward which is about here looking for the stock to go up about here that is solely based on the current share number of shares in issue versus previous shares in issue and uh, you know that that's what i think the stock could go up to i mean it obviously could go up it could go a lot higher but i'm looking at 10 10 pounds I mean, personally, I think it could go up to £10, if not higher. Personally, I've got a target price of 5 which is, uh, you know, just about here. 
personally I've got a target price of five and I'm not bothered the stock's starting to go up obviously it's not broken past that 150 yet so you might say oh well it could come back down like it did last year when it went to 150 but don't forget when it went to 150 it went to 150 based on rumors of a takeover which didn't transpire so given that these moves now these moves are positive because of the company you know the bank is turning around then i think that any you know takeover rumors will only just add to the price being pushed up and um i think metro bank now obviously they're in a stronger position uh focusing more on you know profitability rather than customer trying to like please customers you know retail they're obviously targeting profitability in various um forms um you know to compete with the big boys basically because that's where the profits are um so anyway guys that's my um Metro Bank price prediction, not financial advice, just my opinion. But already, you know, if you would have bought in for 28 pence, lowest point really kind of reached, then you would have got an X3 out of it already. You know, uh, as I say, go back and check my videos on Metro Bank. I'm not just making this up, it's all documented in my videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, if you haven't already subscribed. Don't forget to like the video, share the video on all trading platforms, uh, comment section, you know, blogs, whatever, chat rooms. And um, <clears throat> check out the other videos, not just on Metro Bank, guys. There's other, other, other shares, you know, other shares, other stocks I talk about not just Metro Bank and we'll be adding a lot more stocks in the future and some growth stocks also recovery stocks like this one but check it out guys I know that I've got a told off or whatever you call it about Metro Bank you can see in some of the videos and the comments I received but I've been I've proved them all wrong yet again I've proved them all wrong uh, you see it going up. It's already up. I proved them all wrong because they were saying, why am I saying it's going to go up, blah, 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 and all the rest of it. Anyway, guys, you know who calls it right. I call it right over 90% of the time. So I want to see this go to at least five, five pounds a share. And pretty quickly, I think it's going to be moving up, guys. Anyway, just my opinion, not financial advice. Have a good weekend if you listen to listening to this today. It's the 15th November 2024, guys. So I uh, hope to see you in the next video.